you can achieve anything within reason. This is 100% true. The only limiting factor is your work rate. As long as the goal is reasonable, you can achieve it. Now, I don't mean that you can't shoot for the stars. A reasonable goal doesn't mean a boring or easy one. What makes a goal reasonable is knowing that it has been achieved by someone like you before. If you're under six foot and want to make it in the NBA, no doubt it will be hard, but there are people who have done it before, so it is possible. If you want 1 million subscribers on YouTube, no doubt it won't be easy, but there is over 20,000 channels with over 1 million subscribers, so it's clearly achievable. Even if a goal seems too crazy, if someone like you has already done it before, it's not that crazy anymore. A subscriber asked me a question a while ago. He said, I'm 17, 5 foot 9 and had a broken elbow in the past. My broken arm is a little shorter. My body is average, not too muscular, not too skinny. Can I make a career in boxing? I'm not too rich. Please reply because I'd rather train than study and in my country tons of people are studying so there's too much competition. Nobody wants to start something new. Alright, first things first, I'm no expert but I do want to share my views on this in order to help. Can you make a career in boxing? Maybe. Has a guy who has started at 17, is 5 foot 9 and has uneven arms made it? Yes, there are plenty who start at like 15 to 18 years old and make it. Anthony Joshua started at 18 and there's many who started even later than that. 5 foot 9? Between lightweight and junior middleweight, that's the average height. Uneven length arms? Joe Frazier made it work. The one who defeated Muhammad Ali. He had a shorter arm because of an accident he had when he was younger. Frazier was even blind in one eye along with that. Not to say your arm isn't a disadvantage, but it isn't a deal breaker either. There's the proof that you need to know that you can make it. Someone like you has already made it. That means you can make it too. It's that simple. What you need to do is outwork your competition. You won't make it if you don't work hard, and I mean it. I started boxing at 20. I only just had my first amateur boxing match, and I'm 5'9 too. But the difference is, I'm pretty heavy too. My last fight was at 88 kilos or 195 pounds, so I'm shorter than most of my competition. The reason I have faith in myself is because of my work ethic. Training is the foundation of my life right now, and that's what will help me to succeed. You might be stronger than me, faster than me, taller than me, or even have started younger than me, but one thing I can guarantee is that you aren't working harder than me. You need to have this approach if you want to give yourself a chance at this. Now, I do want to make sure that this is something that you truly want. Are you aware of the numerous health risks involved in boxing? Are you aware of the corruption in the sport? Everyone who's good at boxing doesn't always make it. Many boxers can't make ends meet through boxing alone. Marvin Hagler, one of the four kings, worked construction to pay the bills and would box after work until he finally got paid properly. Think of all the YouTubers you know with over 1 million subscribers. I guarantee I could name some random channel you never even knew existed that has over 1 million subscribers. That's how achievable it is. It's so achievable that you don't even know every single person has done it, nor do you know most of them. And most people are on YouTube every day, so you could call yourself a YouTube fan. Now, for you genuine boxers, Boxing fans. Think of pro boxers that are well paid and promoted, or better yet, champions or challenges. I'm pretty certain you can name most of them, if not all of them. Why? Because it is such a hard feat that accomplishing it leads to worldwide recognition within the sport. So be aware of that. It's not all smooth sailing for everyone. So seriously, look into the cons of this career. Consider other careers that might fit your desire to be an athlete. And if after you've looked at the cons and considered other careers, you still have this strong desire to make it in boxing, well then, you better work hard. You can make it, but that's only if you work hard and give it your all. I don't advise dropping out of school. Set yourself up for your future. This applies to all of you. Work as hard as you can, be disciplined, and you can achieve anything within reason.